Today I'll tell you why I think Scarlet and Violet 151 is the best set of the year. Welcome to the channel everybody, this is Better from Better Collector. So as always here on the channel, we like to take a look at both the American and the European market. So we'll take a look at both at TCG Player and Car Market. We'll see what are the best selling products. We'll take a look at price trends and then we'll compare everything with the European market. So one thing I want to get started with is the availability of Scarlet and Violet 151. If we take a look at Pokemon Center, we see that everything is sold out right now. So it, it is highly possible that we will get a reprint of the set. So that obviously has an impact of the price of, in the secondary market. And one thing I also wanted to notice is the price, the MSRP price for this booster bundle, 26.94. Now, get back to TCG Player, again, sorted by best selling. So these are the items that are mostly selling on TCG Player. And at first place, we have the UPC. Now, the UPC is currently standing at a pretty sweet price, I would say. Basically, the product that I've seen the most decline from the list we're going to take a look at today, I can say it's now below $100. And if we think about what comes to my mind is the Charizard UPC, which has been sitting for below $100 for quite some time. And if you remember, it was selling for $200, $250 before release at pre order, and it was, it was just crazy. And I think now it has started to move higher and it, it has broken $100, I believe. But I mean, below $100 sounds like a, a pretty good deal to me. So you can see here, the second best selling item is the Chargers EX. Now, first of all, the artwork of this Charger is, in my opinion, just gorgeous. Shows like all the artworks in 151. And if we take a look at the price trend, apart from this pre-release release spike, it just, it just been moving higher which is something that we don't really see with newer cards. And only that, so it is now selling for around $130, $125 in near mint condition. So I would say $130 is the fair price. What I expected, and I also said in, in one of my videos, is that the PSA 10 price for this card, and obviously English, has been moving lower now. So right now it's selling for $100. $500. We've seen some auctions for $500, some for just below $500, $450, $470, as you can see, $495, $464, $495. So just below $500, I'd say it's what it's selling for right now. So I would call it a week $500. And if we just scroll back, even not so long ago, like a month or two ago, month and a half, as you can see here, it was selling for around $700, $600 here. And yeah, I remember that obviously as soon as it came out, it was selling for between $700 to $800. So price has been coming lower as expected. And that is obviously something we want to see when it comes to graded cards. A short now, break now, forgive me for the interruption. If you enjoy the content so far, please consider subscribing if you want to stay updated to all the videos I bring to the channel. Let me know down in the comments what you think about it. Scarlet and Violet 151. And don't forget to check out my other videos on the channel. I also decided to open a Discord server for all of you who want to just talk about Pokemon, talk about Yu-Gi-Oh! And especially it is meant for people both from the EU and the USA so that we can compare the market that are indeed moving together but not the same at all times, which is what I like to do and show in the channel, as well as you can just have a, a chat. So if you're interested, consider joining. It's totally free and you'll find the link down below in the description of the video. Back to the video. Another thing that is worth noticing and it shows how strong the set is when it comes to single is remember this is going up it came out hundred dollars hundred and five and then it just continued higher but usually we see with newer cards and i wanted to just show you another charity so we're basically taking a look at the same card just different artworks from obsidian flames and just look at it it's been crashing so it came out in july so a couple months before 151 and it just been moving lower now it seems to have stabilized around sixty dollars so seeing a card that for the first three months after release just move moves higher and no lower is quite interesting now it could also be driven by the fact that this product is i wouldn't call it scarce but it's not as abundant as perhaps obsidian flame was or a paradox rift or all the newer main set i do strongly believe this is driven by demand rather than supply. 
So back to the list now, I want to show you the price difference in the booster bundles and the ETBs. So we don't really have these booster bundle displays in Europe. Let me know if I'm mistaken, but I, I tried to find them and I just couldn't. So if you're watching the video and you are from the EU, let me know if we have them. I don't think so. Anyways, the booster bundle is selling for around $42. And if you remember, as I showed you earlier, MSRP is just below 27. So this is kind of the most overpriced item when it comes to difference in the MSRP price. And for $42 comes down to about $7 a pack, which is quite expensive. If you think about it, if we take a look at the European market, we can see how the English version is selling for a bit below 40 euros, which is roughly right around $42. So they're reprise basically the same price. The main problem is shipping and, and stuff. This is one example where European and North American prices are in line, are moving together. And then if we take a look at the ETBs here, you can see how it, it did spike. I show can just stay at the three months because it's it's not that old. It spiked at right about about fifty eight, and then it came down. So now, as you can see here, you can find them for fifty one, fifty two dollars, and even with shipping included, fifty five. So yeah, shipping is much cheaper in North America than in the EU, especially if let's say I'm from Italy, and I buy from the Netherlands or Germany, I'm going to pay much more than three or four dollars. Even within Italy, I can pay up to 10, 12 euros. So it's yeah, shipping here, it's more expensive than in North America. Nevertheless, if we take a look at ETBs here, just the regular ETBs available, I just sort them by language because we're really interested in the English ETBs, you can see they're selling for around the same price when you convert them into euros as the North American counterparts. So this is another example of how the products are basically selling for the same price. Now it is a bit different when it comes to the sealed case of ETBs because in North America you can find them for south of five hundred dollars. You can see four seventy four, four seven four ninety nine, five hundred. Whereas in the EU you can't find them for less than 510 and this is without shipping and shipping could be up to 20 to 30 euros so quite expensive that's probably the main difference we've seen today and we'll see today when it comes to prices between the EU and North America and if you remember the price for a pack when it came to booster bundles was seven dollars whereas here you have nine boosters for ETBs, 10 ETBs, so you have 90 boosters. So let's say you pay $480 and you don't consider the Snorlax promo nor the sleeves or anything else, then it comes down to about $5.30 per pack. Again, without including the promo, the Snorlax promo, nor the sleeves and the dice and every, everything else. Better deal for when it comes to dollar per pack. And now to try to answer the main question, which is, is this the best set of 2023? Should we invest in it? Are people going to want to open this set? If you think about it, so what, first of all, which product are we going to buy? Are we going to buy the singles, the Charizard, the Blastoise, the Venusaur, which again, as you can see, they're the best selling singles and it's not surprising that they are, but what product are people going to want in their collection or to open or just keep sealed in the future. So obviously the ETB is the ETB. You can also think about getting the Pokemon Center exclusive ETB. However, the only problem with ETBs will be shipping as it could be more expensive to ship an ETB that rather than a booster bundle. However, I think that when it comes to just having your seal collection, people will want to have the ETB. Whereas when it comes to opening packs, then people may prefer the booster bundle, especially if you have a lot of them. So especially if you have the display then you can ship the display people just want to open the set and uh, it's going to be cheaper if the cost per pack is cheaper with the bundle display than the etb then people want most likely the booster bundle it makes sense whereas if you're a seal collector you want the etb in your collection don't want to open the product then most likely the etb or the upc could be your item of choice now another question that should be addressed is are people going to want to open the product? And I believe the answer is yes, because the 
pull rates are just phenomenal. So if we take a look at pull rates, let's call it invited 151, we can see how an SIR comes down to one every 32 packs, whereas just a regular illustration rare comes down to one in every 12 packs. So let's say you have an ETB which has nine packs, then you have quite the chance to pull a regular illustration rare. And uh, if you're lucky, you might pull an SIR. And again, even for a, an hyper rare, a gold rare, it's one every 15 packs. So if you buy a case of ETBs and you just rip them open, you're most likely are going to find one, if not two. So pull rates are solid, as we've seen throughout all the Scarlet and Violet sets. So it, so really, I don't see why people wouldn't want to open the set in the future. And not only that, but also the cards inside. So the set probably contains the most nostalgic Pokemon ever. So let's say even three to five years down the line, how people will not want to open an ETB, a booster bundle, and have thrill to pull a Charizard EX. I think it's this combination of amazing artworks, the 151 original Pokemon, and great pull rates that will drive people to want to open the set in the future. As always, let me know what your thoughts are on Scarlet and Violet 151. Let me know if you think it's overrated, underrated, if you just want to wait if another print run comes along and maybe the price drops a little bit, or if you are already invested in the product. If you enjoyed the video, please like, check out the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.